Not far from Cairo's famous citadel and in the city of the dead lies Cairo's oldest Friday market. What was once the outskirts of town has now become urbanized due to massive expansion over the last few years. This has driven many vendors seeking new venues for their stalls, even finding space in local cemeteries. Graveyard owners rent out the area in front of the graves to the sellers illegally. Police turn a blind eye to this long-held tradition, but now the government wants to relocate the market further out of Cairo to the 15th May city, some 30 kilometers away, and sellers are unhappy with this decision. If this market is relocated, then all the business will stop. We rely completely on our business here. If it is really going to relocate to the 15th of May city, no customers will visit it, and all this market will be scattered. From clothes to coin collectibles, old electronics and even antiques, everything is put on sale. Surprisingly, cats and dogs are in especially high demand. George Ramsey brings his dogs to the market weekly. On good days, his pets are popular among locals and tourists. I have come here every Friday to sell dogs for the past five years. It's my hobby. Mainly, I gain from about 100 to 200 pounds weekly. But other times I don't get anything and I have to pay the expenses for transport from my own money. I live in Shobra district. Our sustenance is in God's hands. <laughs> Ramsey is worried about increased transport costs should the market be moved further away. Traders are also concerned about decreased tourist traffic. <laughs> I face some problems here, like the decrease of the number of visitors of the market, which could cause no sales. We also rent the area from tomb owners. I paid 30 pounds per table, and as you can see, I used three or four tables. It is not a profitable business. While sellers may not make huge profits, sometimes it's enough to feed their families, but their future is now uncertain. It's not clear for how much longer this market will be here. Normal Kuru, CCTV.